What's good, YouTube? Mathematica News is back. That's right. And uh, judge orders a 105-year prison sentence for Wichita parolee convicted in rape investigations. A Wichita man convicted of 33 charges in a criminal case that spanned multiple sexual assault robbery and other crime reports investigated by Wichita police in 2020 has been ordered to serve 105 years in prison. Sedgwick County District Court Judge Jeffrey Serios handed down the sentence Thursday to Patrick Alex Newborn, a 35-year-old parolee found guilty by a jury in September, two years after his arrest following a six-hour standoff with law enforcement in the 9100 block of East Harry. During the standoff, Newborn barricaded himself in an apartment, brandished a handgun, and threatened officers who tracked him there on September 15, 2020. Wichita police have said after he emerged as the prime suspect in a series of sex crime cases reported in days and weeks prior, newborn surrendered the next morning. His crimes included the sexual assault of women, prosecutors and police alleged at least some of whom were acquaintances. At the time, he was on parole for an earlier child sex crimes conviction. Aggravated indecent liberties with the child committed in 2012, his Kansas prison record shows. And all jurors on September 28 convicted him of 30 felonies, several counts of rape, aggravated kidnapping, aggravated robbery, and aggravated burglary. Among them, and three misdemeanors, court records show newborn one acquittals on 15 other charges. In addition to the prison sentence, the judge ordered newborn to pay $1,362 in restitution. So this this guy was like a, a, a maniac. You know what I'm saying? This guy was a, a, a he had a sex demon in him. He, he, he was a maniac. You know what I'm saying? Y'all watch out for people like this. You know what I'm saying? People like this don't deserve to be on the street. They deserve to be locked in prison. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that's good they got this man off the street. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going around raping and doing all type of other crazy things. And we trying to, you know, as a, as a people that's trying to do better, this man do not need to, he did not need to be on the street. Especially when he had caught the case back then. This, this is what I'm saying. You never know who you come across today. You never know who you come across today. And if you do come across somebody and you got to think like, man, oh, this this dude, he seemed kind of weird. Like, he seemed kind of off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Take take your little money, take a little bit of your little money you saved up and go do a background check on that man. You know what I'm saying? Everything going to pop up on him. Go do a criminal background check on that man. And get his get his name, get his get try to get his try to get his social security number if you can. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know who you coming across today. And today we gotta stay alert and stay vigilant today. We gotta be on our square today with the around these different people. Because it's it's a lot of people out here that will really hurt you. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't know who you're dealing with. This man, then, then, then he got child sex cases against him and everything. So you never know who you're dealing with today. So if you, like I say, if you, if, if you got to question yourself, who this man is, you know what I'm saying? Who is this man? I never really heard of him. I never really knew nothing about him. You know what I'm saying? Then do your research on that man or, or just cut him off. If you can't figure him out a little bit. And you think he's a bad person, cut him off. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't going through that in, in, in these coming up years. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dirty people out here. But anyway, I'm signing off. Y'all be safe. Peace.